The University of London, under your leadership, is launching its first online BSc in Computer Science with Goldsmiths, University of London, and Coursera. How much of this is a leap of faith into the future, and how much is it about appreciating the online learning uh, as being a way forward in delivering higher education in a global society? So I think there, there are several different strands to that. First of all, in a sense it's paradoxical that it's taken so long really for computer science to be a major element since of course the whole digital thing owes its origins to you know computing and information flows and the rest of it. But what's happened with the notion of computer science and in particular at Goldsmiths is an entirely different kind of slam. Goldsmiths, as, as people may know, is a, is a very creative place, famous for artists and journalism and things that are not usually associated with things techy. And so the Goldsmiths slant on computer science and computing is really fundamentally interesting in its own right. And to have Coursera, the big platform at Stanford, as one of our partners, the very fact that they want to partner on this one I think is a tribute to how exciting this is as, as a new venture, both in terms just as an undergraduate degree, but the nature of the way that computing is changing and the creativity that goes into the computing industry is changing. So how much of an appeal do you think there will be for the BSc in computer science across the world? Well, I would be surprised if it weren't very, very big indeed. I mean, just looking at the way that new tech industries are coming up, uh, the use of web designs and, and small companies. I think the, the, the job opportunities for people who've done this sort of computing, creative computing, are enormous. Of course, there are payment differentials for the degree programme. Is that to tie in with the access agenda of the University of London? Well, one, one of the great things about the University of London is not only that we've been able to make uh, materials that you would only normally get if you come to London accessible to those who for financial or logistic reasons can't come to London. We've made that available, but we have made it available at a much lower price than you would get an education if you had to come physically. Because then, of course, you've not only got the fee structure for the university, but you've got living costs. So I think our worldwide enterprise and the way that it's priced is all part of the philosophy of access, opening up wonderful opportunities to people who wouldn't have them otherwise.